Ebenezer literally translated as stone of help in the Bible appeared three times in the Bible, but what does it really mean? Well, let us make a quick Bible study to understand things a little better. The first occurrence of this word is in 1 Samuel chapter 4 verse 1. When you read the story, the people of Israel was at war with Philistines and they brought God in their battle. Unfortunately they were defeated because they had been living in sin. The lesson here is that a child of God can fail despite God's love for him if that person is living in sin. The second occurrence of Ebenezer is in 1 Samuel chapter 5 verse 1. The children of God have lost the battle and God has been taken from them. The lesson here is that when you fail, you are most likely to lose faith in God and even neglect him to the point that you can even be separated from him. For the third occurrence of this word, we can see it in 1 Samuel chapter 7:12. Here we are 20 years after the first defeat, the people understood that they have to come back to the Lord and therefore came and met Samuel. As they lamented and repented for their sins, the Lord this time came in their battle and granted them a great victory. Then Samuel made a memorial and raising his voice he said, Until now, the Lord has helped us. May you be encouraged by this story. In spite of your many failures and sorrows and troubles and whatever it may be, until now your Ebenezer, has helped you and he is still there. Have you overcome something? Raise your voice and thank God for until now, he has helped you. Are you still suffering something? Raise your voice and thank God for until now, he has helped you and things are going to be better soon. Salah.